What's up Loop Community friends, my name is Jake Stemo and today we're going to be doing a quick video on how to warp a track and also change uh, the key of the song. So first off I'm going to go up into my live preferences and check and make sure that my auto warp long samples is off. So I want to come here and make sure that my auto warp, warp long samples is off uh, so it doesn't automatically warp my track when I bring it in. And then I want to just go find the song uh, that I want to use or I want to find the tempo for and just drop it into lives audio window and then uh, I'm gonna come down to my audio uh, sample editor down here uh, and I'm just gonna zoom in on my track and I want to just go and find um, the lowest transient point of, of when uh, the first kind of drum beat is in my song so it's about right there and now I want to go and I want to just hit uh, this key button and I'm going to map uh, the T on my keypad to uh, the tap tempo and I want to just uh, play my song and tap the tempo in. Alright, so it's about uh, 150, so we'll just put 150 in there as our tempo. And then we're going to come over here, and as you can see, like nothing's warped yet. Uh, in here, this little window, you have uh, your different warping algorithms. You have beats, tones, textures, and repitch. Beats you'd use for like a uh, smaller uh, drum loop or tones. Uh, I'm going to use tones for this uh, track, uh, and it's for more like guitar tones and different sounds inside of a, a track and then texture is more for like ambient sounding synths or piano sounds and then repitch is repitch and then there's also complex and complex pro uh, but I am running Ableton Live intro and I do not have those available to me so now I'm going to come over to uh, this transient point that I made and I'm just going to right click and I'm going to do set 1.1.1 here and it's going to warp my track from that point. So now I have my my first warp marker and I just I just warp my track to 150 BPMs. So now I can just uh turn on my click and just play my track to make sure it's all lining up. So it sounds pretty good. I want to go uh, to the end of my track and just to make sure that the click continues to stay on throughout the whole song. Uh, sometimes uh, when we warp a track it drifts off at the end of the song um, and, and the click doesn't stay on. So I'll just come here and I'll That sounds pretty good. It sounds like it's not getting off. So now if I want to change the, the key uh, of my song, now that I have it warped and everything, I can just come over here to this transpose tool and I can transpose it up or down. Uh, and these, uh, each, each one, one, two, and three is a half step. So if I want to transpose it down a half step, I can go to one and it automatically transposes my song down. Let's say I wanted to transpose it a whole step. I go down a whole step. Or let's say I want to go up up a whole step. You can notice as you transpose up and down, you have uh, a loss in quality and the grain. Uh, it sounds a little grainy. So. Uh, hopefully this helped you guys out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave some uh, comments or questions on the blog here. Thanks for checking us out.